magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Annalise. Lunchtime. Ah, homework. My favorite. Mm. Mm. Arithmetic? Ketchup goes well with lower mathematics. A bite of geography with mustard. Ah, and I'll wash it down with some geometry juice. Mm. Don't you think it's odd that I, a dragon, should eat homework for lunch? Of course it's odd, for it never happened. It was a falsehood, a canard, a prevarication. Oh, why beat about the bush? It was a silly lie told by a little girl named Sandy. This dragon, he stole my homework, and he took it under a tree and, and ate it with ketchup and mustard. And that's why I don't have any to show you. Sandy was unique, for she had an imagination as magical as my smoke rings. Fantastic stories and songs would bubble from her brain, bounce from her mouth, and delight the world about her. Then, one day, something in Sandy's life changed. From that point on, she told many foolish lies all day long to everyone for any reason. She lied to her father on weekends. Gee, Sandy, next Wednesday's a special day for you. My birthday! That's right, honey. And what do you want for your birthday? A bicycle? Or a microscope? Nothing like that. Dad? I want to have you and Mom, both of you, take me to, um, Mount Everest, right to the top. Huh? They've got special snow there that'll cure my freckles. You don't have any freckles. Sure I do. They're invisible. And at home, she sometimes lied to her mother. Sandy, did you wash the dishes as you promised? No, Mom. You see, this great scientist, he just announced that washing dishes makes the germs grow. And if you want to stay healthy, you ought to keep the dishes dirty. And she also lied to her friends at school. Strike three. You're out. Out? Haven't you heard? Congress just passed the law. You get four strikes now. You're not only out, you're benched. Oh, gee. And soon Sandy had lost all of her friends, except for one. And this famous impresario said he's going to make me the star of the Russian ballet. You believe me, don't you? Mm -mm. Anything I say? Mm -mm. Want to taste your ball? Mm -mm. I know Mom said we should only play outside, but mm -mm. Uh, she changed her mind. Mm -mm. Fetch. <gasps> It was Muggs. I tried to stop him, but he jumped around and knocked the lamp. Oh, Muggs, I'm sorry, but you're just too big to keep in town. We'll have to give you back to Aunt Clara. And Sandy, you can see Muggs during the summer, honey. You wait and see. I'm going to call the Marines to get you back. You believe me, don't you? Mm -hmm. uh, you believe anything. Sandy. The most confusing, confounding bundle of contradictions ever to need a magic dragon. To help her, I had to take her on a long magic journey. You'll see. Hey! I beg your pardon. Did you just see a dragon float by in a balloon? Sure. Ah, oh, what a relief. For a moment, I thought you were imagining me. Who are you? Don't you remember me? I ate your homework. But that was just a story. I made you up. Mm -hmm. If you're just one of my fibs, I can make you go away. Go away. Am I still here? Uh-huh. Well, then I suppose I'm not just one of your fibs. I gotta go. Why? I've gotten, um... An important appointment with the Queen of France. You have? Well, you've got all the time in the world for appointments. How do you know? My magic timepiece. 
I've stopped the clock, twixt the tick and the top. We can go anywhere, do anything. And when we return, not one second will be lost. Go away. No way. I'm warning you, you better run for it because the... Mm, there's this big earthquake coming and the ground will just swallow us up. If you say so. What's that? Your earthquake, I assume. Beyond the rainbow's time and space, our friends are falling through to a tunnel in a land beyond the clouds of pink and blue. Where are we? Um, a long way from your house, I'm sure. I don't want to go back there anyway. Why not? Um, because my house is broken in two pieces. All the pipes are squirting and the wires are going fizz. Good gracious. Fizz, you say? Puff, I wish I knew where we were. I believe that this rather dismal archipelago is the land of the living lies. The land of the living lies. Where lives do go when ye world finds them out. Sounds great. Well, you don't have to tell the truth, and the folks really appreciate a good lie. Look, a little boy. Wolf, wolf, a wolf, beware the wolf. wolf. What's wrong with him? Wolf. Can't he wolf. see you're a dragon? Must be the boy who cried wolf. wolf All the famous the liars live here. And just look who's waiting to welcome us to the land of the living lies. Baron Munchausen himself. The world's greatest liar. Welcome, fellow liar. Seems like a wonderful place, sir. How dare you call it wonderful? What's wrong with wonderful? It's an insult. In this land, everyone lies. If you say it's wonderful, you must believe it's terrible. It is. It's a terrible place. It's awful. Yuck! Oh, that's better. Enjoy your stay here. Feel free to wander hither and yon. The climate is beautiful. It never rains here. Oh, I want to get out of here. Oh, why don't you ask the Baron's permission and see what happens? Uh-uh. He's the kind you have to trick. Leave everything to me. Baron Muchasen. See, I'm this great brain surgeon. And this king is very sick. And I'm the only one who can put the band-aid on his brain. So I have to leave, okay? Oh, you may leave any time you will. Really? You mean that now? <laughs> now is not any time. Now is a specific time. Find a time that is not specific, <laughs> and you may be on your way. <laughs> oh, Puff. You've met the master. Those were mean lies. He's awful. True, true, true. But you tried to trick him first. Oh. Puff, look. That is the famous purple cow that no one has ever seen. And the pink elephant? That some see too often. Who's that? Kilroy, who always was there and never was anywhere. And that magician's rabbit? Who seems to, but never does live in a hat. Puff, those are silly lies. No, those are fanciful lies. And harmless fantasy is okay and fun. I mean, I'm part fantasy. You mean that part is okay? Uh-huh. Ah, oh, Puff, how can you tell the difference between a real lie and a fantasy kind of one? Well, a fanciful lie is hard to explain. It starts in your heart and bubbles your brain. It wiggles your ears and away it goes. Then it comes right back and tickles your toes. It makes you feel kind of song and dancey. It's more than a lie. It's a wonderful fancy. When a dragon becomes a birthday cake, 
and a little girl a tree when the sky becomes a parachute and the earth a cup of tea when the upside down is really really up and you set the flowers free then it's part of all the wonderment of what the world can be when an ice cream bar is a monument and a glass holds all the sea when the snowflake becomes a jungle gym and the moon's a tiny bee when the inside out is really really in and the unicorn set free When a giant becomes a jelly bean And a sword turns into a snail When a church mouse becomes a chimpanzee And a puddle turns into a pail When the tippy-tippy top is at the bottom of it all And the kites are all set free Then it's part of all the wonderment Of what the world can be Don't eat the flowers. Please don't pick the apples. I don't see any apples or flowers. I'm a flower. I'm a pretty petunia. It's very confusing. Oh, yes, it's just terrible. Take me away from here. Pick me. Pick me, please. Aw, oh, poor little thing. We'll take care of you. Thief! Thief! Oh, she's picking the apples. But you're... She's an apple. We petunias know apples from pumpkins. That's the silliest thing I ever heard. You're eating me. You're eating the flowers. But I was just talking. Oh, help! Police! 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 Aha! Uh -huh. Picking apples, eating flowers, eh? But, officer, you can't do that. I didn't. You're under arrest. You're just a little wooden boy, a marionette. I'm a police officer. Tough, he is... No, Kyo. Where else would he live? This way. Send her to the caverns. To the caverns. Oh, Puff, we're just getting in deeper and deeper. This looks like a courtroom. I guess you're on trial. And here comes the jury. Oh, liars. Oh, yes. First comes the social lie. I'd love to come to your birthday party, but I have a bad coat. ka -choo. Then the tall tail. We grow melons so big. How big are they? Well, we can use the shells for swimming pools. Oops, who is this? Bubblegum cures warts. Uh, the meaningless lie. Next, the vicious fly. Tommy wears T-shirts with torn tails. Pass it on. Ha, 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 ha. Huh? I'm really scared. Oh, here comes the judge. The monstrous lie. Raise your left hand. Who's he? The bailiff. Bare-faced lie. You promise not to tell the truth, the half-truth, and everything but the truth? Little girl, isn't it true you zip the zapper when you sniff the snow? Hmm? I can't understand him. Because he's the prosecuting attorney. A genuine flim flam. And furthermore, you frightened the flip by frying the frisbee. Ah, and therefore I put the case that all the while the fluster flittered, your velocipede matriculated. Get 
it, you? I don't know. <laughs> she admits it. Guilty, guilty. Oh, Sandy, you can't mean that. You did. You know you did. Guilty dragon. Guilty dragon. Guilty dragon. Guilty dragon. Guilty dragon. Guilty dragon. A dragon's magic lasts as long as children's love is there. Puff's dragon eyes are filled with tears. Oh, Sandy, show us you still care. They said I could see you one last time. Well, here I am. You wait and see. I'm going to call the Marines and set you free. <laughs> Do your magic and get us out of here. The way you did before with the earthquake and all. I can't. My magic is gone until you tell the whole truth. I'm sorry, and that's the truth. Ah. <laughs> you live here now? I, I don't want to leave. I want to go home. Really? Yeah, but I can't. I told you about my house. Oh, yes, it's all broken with squirting water pipes. It's not broken that way why are they growling that was an important truth they don't like it at all important finish what you started to tell me please how is your house broken i i can't not now some other time sandy if you don't tell the truth now this is the last time i'll ever be able to see you well how is it broken, child? It's my folks. Mom lives in one place and Dad another. Stop her! Stop her! Stop her! Stop her! Stop her! Stop her! Is it because of what happened to your mom and dad that you're telling these lies? Yeah. Lies are better than the truth when the truth is it was all my fault. Little girl, you can't really believe that. It's true. I thought about it a lot. I thought and thought, and finally I figured it out. I caused it to happen. <laughs> Why are they happy again? Because you just told a whopper. I didn't lie to you. Not to me, dear. To yourself. You told the worst kind of a lie there is, maybe. The lie of self-deception. If you believe that, you'll be here forever. But I did it. My folks, they're all smashed up. They're not smashed. Broken people can't show love. Love? They still love you, don't they? And they couldn't love me if they were broken. And they wouldn't if I was the one who broke them. But they do, and that's the truth. Huh? And what else is the truth? The truth is, it wasn't my fault at all. And I feel so good now. Anna, girl. Just say the words that you've got to say, and the walls come a-tumbling down. Just realize that you're really okay, and the walls come a-tumbling down. You don't have to try to fool the world anymore, and the walls come a-tumbling down. Puff, now I know what we came here for. And the walls come Good, you have nothing to fear. And the walls come a tumbling down. You don't scare me because I don't belong here. And the walls come a tumbling down. See the truth, say what is real. And the walls come a tumbling down. Now we know how good that freedom feels. And the walls come a tumbling down. Rebel sharp, yuck, scream. And the walls come a tumbling down. We're leaving here and, and the walls are gonna tumble down. Take off your mask.
wait a minute. Let me. It works again. Jump. What happened to the land of the living wise? The truth set us free. Ta ta da dum bum boom boom. And now, now I must start time a cranking again, and you have got to get home. Will you be there when time starts up again? No, Sandy. But you can think me up or write me down. And I certainly hope you do. There's no need to waste that wonderful imagination of yours on a lot of silly lies. Hmm? Thank you, Pop. Pop, I'm gonna miss you. Well, there'll be other friends to take my place. And now to start, alas, the magic clock and move once more from tick to tock. Thank you, Sandy. I'll get it. Dad! Happy birthday, Sandy. A microscope. That is what I really wanted. <laughs> Come on, Muggs. Let's go do those dishes. Once upon a time, there was a magic dragon, and he just loved to eat homework. Mm. Mm. Arithmetic? Ketchup goes well with lower mathematics. Mm. That book she's writing is sure to be a classic. <laughs> 